What's going on, Video Game Voter Vanguard? It's your boy, the Video Game Voter, here with another episode of VIP Voter Initial Plays, where we take a look at new games added to the library, or games we had in the library that we simply haven't looked at to yet. So, as you guys know, we've been tackling the Wii U uh, collection, going through the library, and today's episode, I'm very excited about this game in particular. I've heard great things about it. I believe I played it briefly, but not on the Wii U. This was actually a sealed copy that I just opened, and I'm ready to get into it. So, let's take a look at what we got going on today. We got... Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut. As I said, this was a brand new copy. I just opened and sealed. It says dash dash through tricky levels and transfer the whole world at will in this fast-paced award-winning platformer. Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut combines graphics that pack a visual punch and tight controls with the challenge of retro era platformer. Fluidly morphed between two dramatic different dream worlds to solve puzzles and combat grueling enemies and bosses. There's a lot of key features. I'm not gonna go through this. Uh, it's one player games official um it's officially licensed by nintendo uh i'm a big fan of platformers uh just to keep it real you guys know if you watch my channel you guys know i'm a big platformer game uh guy and uh so this comes with the manual obviously um i don't think this game is too expensive i think it's around 20 25 bucks or so uh so you guys can definitely pick that up and like i said i'm excited about this one um I know some of the episodes have been a bit slow. I mean, I did say I wanted to go through the entire Wii U library. Um, but it's a lot of party games involved. It's not really much we can do about that. I'm trying to see what's going on with this load process. There we go. Take a little minute to load. And if you guys don't know, um, I got some things for sale. If you check out the Video Game Voter eBay, eBay store, I did put up my white Wii U uh, 8 gig for sale. That's the one. That was my main one but i also have one that kind of just had on display and i thought about it only thing special was the wii u gamepad but it is a 32 gig so i now have switched over to the zelda edition wii u and as you can see it's the wii u gamepad i cleaned it up as best as i could uh, but i decided to use this um as my go-to and just you know try to maintain my wii u gamepad keeping in good control and i'm selling i got another 32 gig and an 8 gig for sale but let's get into the game uh so this uh probably won't be as troubling with it being a bigger hard drive in this particular console so it'll be a little easier to get games loaded up faster and have uh space on the hard drive as well let's go to play Hansel and gretel i wonder if that was all the stages i don't know if you guys fans of the game if you're familiar let me know down in the comment section below if that's all the worlds or stages listed as we just saw on that screen I'll try to turn the body down so it don't back feed into the mic because I know you guys can hear the game play audio as well okay so Alright, so let's see how many worlds it is. Alright, so it's probably multiple worlds here. Seven here, so it says like one seven, so um I'm guessing it's multiple worlds within the world. No, it's just different stages. Let's check out this one. So far the game looks great. And from what I can remember, I don't remember if I played this on the PS3 or not, something. Some console I had got a glimpse of what this game is like, or maybe I just seen gameplay footage, but um heard great things about this game as far as being a great platformer graphically and to me Wii U is slept on graphically I think they do a pretty good job as you can see right here this game is great it definitely reminds me of a uh, uh, Rad Rogers on the uh, Nintendo Switch port I'm gonna do some research on that to see if it's uh see if it's the same developer because they look very very similar so the controls feel tight no double jump. I don't know if you can. Now some platforms you can kind of you can kind of go through the bottom hash of a uh, of a platform. Not sure what those things mean yet. Jump on his head. Yeah. Alright, typical uh 
old school platformer style. Alright, so once he's down, you just kind of lay there. Okay, so you can't spring off of um, different parts. Trying to find out if it's like a double jump. New gallery artwork. Here you can kind of jump while you're in the air. That's pretty cool. So it's not really a double jump, but if you're falling, you can kind of hit the button and jump again. That's pretty good. I'm guessing this is one of the sisters, maybe. Oh, you just ate him. So there's a little bit of a cutscene here. So from what that's saying. Your ZR, you can transfer. I guess this is kind of like a mean side, I guess. Oh, that's cool. So that's like a dash. You jump and hit the X button. You do like this fireball dash. I wonder how. Okay. For some reason, it don't allow that side of her to go through. Kind of weird, but. Okay, so we switch it just kind of apparently switch through the two. Um, I guess I don't know what you would call it. Uh, like I guess it's like a split personality if I could describe it in any kind of way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess when you switch to the other personality, the different personality unlocks different um different things in the stages from what I get. Because as you can see. This side of her unlock that section for me to go up to move forward and like for that that open that uh, portion for me to move forward. So you kind of got to utilize both personalities if I'm saying that correctly, which is pretty cool. I do like that. This is pretty cool. Like I said, this is very it's definitely give me Brad Rogers vibes, and this obviously was our first so. Um, so I really should say uh, Brad Rogers gets his inspiration from here. Oh wow, that was cool. Kind of switch. Do your thing. So yeah, you, you absolutely have to use both. Oh crap. Right. In cold. Yeah, you absolutely got to use both personalities. In order to move forward through the stages, uh, I don't know if that's a continuous thing through the crap through the entire game. Probably is. All right, let's try to get up here. Uh, hit the other button. It's all good. We needed to do that anyway. Trying to get used to the controls. Alright, so it's the X button. Switch over. Yeah, so if you look right there, you can see the red, the red gems or whatever. They're for the other side of. I don't even know this character's name. I don't know what it says. And the blue ones would be for this side. But it's a level. So I had good reason to be excited for this game. So we just completed a level of I think it's Yana Sisters. So we just say Yana Sisters Twisted Dreams Director Cut for the Wii U. Fantastic platform. And I'm excited to dive more into this game. If you guys are familiar with this franchise, because I believe they have more than one on different uh consoles. If you're a fan of this franchise, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, what do you think about the gameplay for this? Is something that you feel you want to get into after watching this episode? So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Don't forget, if you like, you can support me on Patreon, Cash App, uh, PayPal, 
Also, the biggest and best way to support this channel is dropping likes on the videos, leaving comments, sharing the video, and making sure you always subscribe and you don't miss an episode. So turn on those notifications, hit that bell. We upload every Tuesday and Thursday right here on the video game board at 4 p.m. Also, don't forget, we got an eBay uh, store, as I mentioned before. Just search video game voter out. Also, we got a link in the description. Now I'm at it. Uh, we also got merch available on Teespring. I'm going to drop the price on all the merch. I know they're kind of crazy, but it maybe get to a point where I don't make a profit. But at the end of the day, I kind of want my merch to sell. So I'll drop the price. Let me get, just give me some feedback on everything, guys. You know, that's the only way you kind of support this channel in a way because I'm not being paid. Uh, I do contribute a lot of time and thought to these videos. So. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the support that you are giving me. And like I said, the best way you can support this channel by watching the episodes, allowing it to play through. That just really helps out the channel a ton. And at that point, maybe we can get something and feel like we, we get something back. And at the end of the day, the more I get back, the more I'm going to get. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. This is Board of Video Game Voting, aka Flies Video Game in the World, signing off.